Hi Scorpio, welcome in. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. I'm going to take a look at your next seven days. I'll start by pulling you some general messages and I'll take a look at your love life. If the reading resonates or if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and feel free to leave a comment down below. So Scorpio, during my meditation and pre-shuffle, I was getting messages of you receiving some exciting news. I do see either you making an announcement or you're going to be uh, reading about an announcement or hearing an announcement. Okay, this could be in regards to a new baby coming into this world for some of you guys. I'm also picking up on something being a blessing, blessing in disguise for you, Scorpio. Those of you that are in a very overwhelming, challenging place in your life, I feel like you're uh, about to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm also, they're showing me a rainbow. So I do see you overcoming a storm here. I do see you overcoming a very challenging time. We're going to see what the tea leaves have to say. We have caterpillar. It says things will not always be this way. A change is coming. There's a change coming. Okay. I feel like there's going to be several changes here. We have Lily. It says spiritual love. So it's definitely a spiritual transformation that you're undergoing here. We have Torch. It says spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. We have Tulip that wanted to come out. Great passion. Those of you that feel like you're losing passion for something or you're even in a place of where you could be feeling a little down in the dumps, even depressed, I feel like your passion is about to come back to you. Okay, this Torch is about to get lit. And I actually just heard it's about to get lit. <laughs> it's about to get lit, Scorpio. We have bird perched, waiting for news package letter. So those of you that are waiting for some type of information, I do feel like this, this information is coming towards you. What else? What else? Money path, the path with money is waiting for you to find it. Oh my gosh. And then we have butterfly, a change for the better. Bottom of the deck, we have stork. So this could be news of a birth or a new business opportunity. We have horseshoe. So you have luck on your side. We have Cat, a two-faced friend. And so I almost said um, information. Uh, when I was trying to say information, I almost said imitation. So there could be a two-faced person around you, Scorpio, that is trying to imitate your life. I feel like somebody here could be getting under your skin. We have Broken Ring, parting the ways of either a romantic partner or business partner. And then we have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. There's definitely some type of broken connection here, okay? It could be a friendship. It could be a coworker. It could even be a romantic partner. It feels like something here is broken up. We have club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. It's whoever this two-faced person is. I feel like they're going to try to get you to get off your path. I feel like they're going to try to make you emotionally react to something. I feel like there's somebody here that is actually being, this Ram is here. It says an aggressive person, but I'm picking up on passive aggressive energy, like somebody trying to get to you in a passive aggressive way here. Then we have tent. It says temporary situation. So that's not going to last very long. We have barrel. It says you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. There's definitely a money path being shown your way or a new path to a new goal. Those of you that feel like you're lacking, this is just all about you focusing on new things you want to achieve, taking baby steps. You could be feeling tied down or frustrated at this time or sometime within the next seven days. And just remember, it's just this, it's just this energy that's coming towards you. I feel like there is a, a person or a dark energy that's trying to stunt your growth because you have this caterpillar and butterfly. You are about to receive a lot of spiritual growth here. And there will be 
energies that come in and try to break that up for you. So just remember that when you're feeling frustrated. Always take a break, but never give up on your passions. We have Bell announcement. So there's a major announcement about to take place here. Let's get you an angel number. You could be reading an announcement here. Okay, we have 16. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have 111. Angel number 16, it says, You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. It says, I am perceptive. Then you have 111, I am creative. Angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. Let's take a look at your love life, Scorpio. I'm gonna get a sip of coffee. Messages for Scorpio when it comes to love. Scorpio, um, they're showing me the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I see you having fun. I see you enjoying yourself. Of course, you could be spending money. Some of you guys, you'd be having fun spending money, treating yourself. I just, I'm seeing you laugh. I see a lot of laughing and I see a lot of like activity here. And I see a lot of coins. It says you deserve love, Scorpio. It says you are lovable. Bottom of the deck, it says worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Then we have playfulness after that. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So that's where that queen of wands energy was coming. That's where that was coming in from. So this can just be advice to get out there, have some fun. If you're financially able to do a little bit of splurging, something that makes you feel good, go ahead and do it. Also just be indulge in playing rest okay don't don't be all work and no play six of swords yeah you guys could be near water i'm getting like a boat or i'm getting like you could just be traveling near water here knight of cubs seven of cubs I'm picking up on an energy of someone who came towards you and then confused you. Okay. I feel like some of you Scorpios could be in the process of trying to move on from this confusing situation. The Empress is here. So this is all about, like I said, just make sure, you know, indulge a little, have, have some fun, okay? Get dressed up, get your hair done, your nails done, whatever makes you feel good. And, and if it's none of those things, just whatever makes you feel good, whatever makes you feel like an empress or, a, you know, my, for my fellas, an emperor. Let's see. Two of Wands. Yeah, there's travel. I see you traveling or talking about traveling here. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you want to get out of town or you just want to get out of this stuck energy. Some of you guys have just kind of felt stagnant and stuck and you're wanting to get back out there. And Spirits is giving you the green light. Giving you the green light that this uh, hermit here and then the devil. Spirit says, you've done enough shadow work for now. You've done enough, you, you've done enough self reflecting. You've done enough being a hermit. Okay. You've done enough looking at all your demons and getting to know them. Spirit says, you've done enough of that for now. Yes, you will have to do this again in the future, but for now, you've, you've done enough. You looked at your shadows. You've been working on yourself. The Empress indicates that a lot of you guys, you have matured. You have grown, okay? And I'm definitely getting you outgrow 
an old connection or you've outgrown an environment. And so Spirit's saying, enough with the shadow work. Get yourself back out there. You know, untie yourself. High Priestess. Spirit says you're very wise now. Okay, you've learned a lot of lessons. Trust your intuition, your inner guidance, that inner voice. Four of Swords. Yeah, vacation, rest, okay, from the shadow work. I really feel like you guys have done enough shadow work. Okay, I cannot. I'm repeating it because I feel like somebody needs to hear it. I feel like, you know, you deserve love. You're lovable. You may be coming out of a period of feeling very overwhelmed about taking a look at your insecurities or just taking a look at the things that have been holding you back. Kind of just realizing that you played a part, right? And we all go through this. And I feel like a lot of you Scorpios, you're starting to acknowledge the life you want, the relationship you want. And you're starting to acknowledge that you're growing up and you're, you're going to be attracted to different kinds of people because you have matured. You're changing. And Spirit says, you've acknowledged it. Don't be hard on yourself. You've done the work. It's time to untie yourself from this energy. Don't hold yourself back anymore. The Fool. I was wanting to clarify the worth waiting for. There's somebody new coming in, Scorpio, that has been worth waiting for. This is divine timing at work in your love life. The Fool talks about taking a leap of faith. This is also an adventurous card, a new journey. Some of you guys, it's a matter of you getting back out there and doing things spontaneously, okay? Saying yes to things. Page of Wands. You deserve love, real love, not immature love. I am seeing somebody who sent you mixed signals. They're wanting to reach out to you. I, I'm seeing that. Chariot. I think it's time to change your focus. I think it's time to switch your focus from trying to grow and trying to uh, nitpick yourself, trying to find all these things inside of you. Uh, I, I think it's time to change your focus from that to playfulness. I think it's time to take charge. Yeah, look at this, the Wheel of Fortune and then the Knight of Swords and then the Sun. It's time to enjoy yourself, especially these next seven days. Get out of your head. Enjoy yourself. Meet new people. There's definitely energies around you. There's options around you that are wanting to meet your energy. And Spirit says spontaneously put yourself out there. You know, also feel good about yourself. You've come so far. Change your focus from this uh, hermit devil energy, whatever this was, soul searching, shadow work. Okay. Um, definitely some type of like spiritual growth has happened here and spirit says it's time to change your focus to having some fun you've done enough of this yeah look at that <laughs> eight of cups a lot of introspection guys and then we have this nine of wands and then the three of pentacles get yourself out there and have some fun and make a bold statement that nine of wands uh that he's making a bold statement, okay? He's exciting when he enters rooms, okay? And I feel like when you guys do enter rooms, this Three of Pentacles, I, all eyes are on you because you're in this Empress energy. You're definitely attracting attention, Scorpio. Give me one more card. The Lovers, okay? And then the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck along with the Seven of Wands, along with the Eight of I'm sorry, the Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, so I see you meeting a good match here, getting yourself out there, okay, doing, saying yes to things, uh, you know, showing up for, you know, yourself. Some of you guys, it's a matter of changing up your routine. I see somebody here, you and someone else are going to want to get to know about each other. That page of pentacles, you, you're going to want to, you're going to want to learn more about each other, this person you match with. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. It's a lot of communication. This is invest. This communication is all about invest, investing in each other, showing interest in each other. So someone's coming in that's very interested in you, and you're interested in them. And Spirit says, "Go for it. Have an open heart." I feel like a lot of you guys, um, you have been doing the work, and you're you're really coming into a place of this Empress energy where it's like things you're attracting things to you. 
Let me pull you a lover's oracle. You're attracting uh, a different crowd here with that seven. This seven of cups, the sun, like, I just, I see you attracting a different crowd, a different kind of person here. Okay, you have three cards that wanted to come out. The card that's upright, though, it says wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So this new connection that's coming in, don't rush. Get to know someone, okay? It says embrace. Oh my gosh. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Wow, Scorpio. And then we have twin flames. Your passion ignites. Oh my goodness. So this looks very exciting. And I feel like there's going to be a very intense, passionate connection that you share with this person. And don't rush into it. You're Because you may be tempted to rush into something, but definitely don't rush into it. Just get to know this person. Embrace each other. And this is going to be a very intense connection for you, okay? There's going to be a lot of love, a lot of passion. And it's definitely somebody that has been, it's they've been worth waiting for. And this is beautiful. We have strong Leo energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpios here, Cancerian energies here, Libra, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages. Bye.